Hey guys, welcome to Mrs. G's Sewing Space. Today is going to be a short video and I'm going to show you a shortcut on how to keep track of your patterns and your thread on an Excel spreadsheet and make it mobile. So today, and I've had this idea before, but I've also heard it mentioned through some of my sewing Facebook groups. Um, on how to have a current list of your embroidery threads, your threads, your patterns, and have it with you at all times so when you go shopping, you are able to access it without having to carry a ton of paper with you. Now, I thought this was a really good idea. Most of the time, I forget about it, but I'm going to try to keep this in mind, especially for all my embroidery thread in the background, because I have gone to Joann's or to the store to get more embroidery thread and end up buying duplicates just because I don't know what I have. Or I'm like, oh, this looks like a new color. I don't think I have this one. And then I get home and I have three of them. So what I'm going to show you is a spreadsheet. And I'm going to list all my embroidery threads and we're going to switch over to my computer so you can see what I'm doing. And we are going to take it from there so I can show you how I'm going to do all of this. And I'll be back at the end of the video. My voice might sound slightly different because I'm recording off of my laptop now, but what I'm going to do is open up a spreadsheet which I already have open that I've been working on so I can show you what I've been working on. So here's my Excel spreadsheet. I haven't saved it yet, but I have been working on adding all my em machine embroidery thread. So in my column I have the maker because there are different kinds of embroidery thread. I have the cost per spool which I will fill in when I have time or the next time I go out and buy thread. I have the color name, which the spools of thread that I have don't actually mention a color name, but I know in Sew Up Pro, my um, machine embroidery software, it does, so I might go back later and fill out all that when I have time. I have the color number for each embroidery thread, so each spool of thread has a number attached to it. And if I have those numbers, then I know which ones I've already purchased and which ones I haven't. I have a column here saying how many because I know I have multiples or doubles of some. And I don't want to get doubles if I don't need them. I have a column here saying almost out so I can put my yes or no's in there for when I go shopping again and I need more thread. Um, I do have how many yards or meters because I do have some larger spools of thread and then I have some smaller spools of thread. I do the weight. Most embroidery threads should be 40, a 40 weight. And so I put that in there when I have the information. Guterman doesn't specify on their threads, on their spools, whether it's 40 weight or not. I assume it is. And then what kind it is, where it rayon or polyester. And then I have an extra column here for whether it's metallic or variegated because I kind of need to know that as well. I am going to now save my spreadsheet since I filled in all my thread. Whoop, there it is. There's all my thread and I froze my upper upper top row. I froze my top row so I could do this. I could see all my thread when I scrolled through it. Um, I renamed my tab down here embroidery thread just so that I know that it is for embroidery thread and I know there was man I was just thinking about something that I was going to add there and I don't remember what it was I was going to put you could put sewing patterns there so we'll do that we'll just add a new sheet and then you double click or right click on the title rename it and I'm going to change it to sewing patterns and then now I can go back and and type in you know the company and pattern number and I can fill in the categories whether it's going to be pants, dress, shirts, you know whatever. Anyways I can fill that in as well. Uh, my next one would be especially for machine embroidery would be stabilizers. Stabilizers because I definitely need that one so I'm going to fill that in later. So right now we're going to save embroidery thread. So I'm going to come up here and go to File, Save As. And instead of Book 2, I'm going to rename this Emily's Sewing Supply List. 
and I'm going to save it to my desktop just so that I can find it and move it to my next section. So save that and now I'm going to go ahead and close this down because I'll go back and fill in all that later. So now here on my desktop you see over here Emily sewing supply list and I want to add that to a particular place so I can retrieve it so I can retrieve it on my phone when I'm out shopping. So I'm going to go down here to Google Chrome and I already have this pulled up. So what I have is my Gmail account opened up. This is G Sewing Space. And if you click this box right here, you can click on all your apps. And I clicked on Drive and it brings me to my Google Drive. Now here I can drop in the spreadsheet to be able to retrieve it on my phone. So I'm going to do that right now. Take my spreadsheet and just move it over and drop it in. And there it is. There's my spreadsheet. It's on my Google Drive. And now I'm going to go back to my camera so I can show you how I retrieve it off of my phone. Okay, so this is going to be slightly awkward, but here's my, my phone. And what I'm going to do, because I have a Samsung Gal Galaxy, I'm not sure where you guys, for Apple phones, I don't even know if Apple phones have access to a Google account. But this is how I do this. So I have my Samsung Galaxy here. I go to my Google folder. So I have a folder that has all my Google apps in it, right? Let's see. Okay, there we go. So right here is my Google folder. So I'm going to click on my Google folder. And right here on the very top is my Google Drive folder. And from there, if I'm logged in to this Gmail account, it'll pull up my drive and there is my spreadsheet for all my sewing supply stuff. So I'm going to let it upload. So while I'm in Joann's, I can now scroll through and see all the list of my my embroidery thread. Haha. <laughs> and my tabs are here at the top. On the computer my tabs are at the bottom. But here my tabs are at the top, so I can look at my stabilizers if I have anything added, my sewing patterns if I have anything added there, and there is my embroidery thread. So I can go back and I can look and I see what numbers I have, how many do I have, what do I need, do I have variegated or metallic thread, and now I have everything there that I need. So when I go back to Joann's to buy more fab fabric, ooh, fabric, I need to do that one next. Anyways. When I need to go and get more thread, I know what I have and I know what I need. Well, I hope you found that tutorial helpful. I... Well, I hope you found that tutorial helpful. I've been meaning to do this for a while so that I don't have to tote around pads of paper, which is what I normally tote around with me. And now that I've got that spreadsheet started, I can go back and start filling in those tabs with the sewing patterns I have, with the stabilizers that I have, and how much that I, especially for the stabilizers, how many yards that I have, and what I might need on my next shopping trip. And we could, you could do fabric as well if you're that detailed. I'm gonna, I'm not that detailed. I'm not gonna follow up with it. Ooh, but if you do vinyls, like marine vinyls, or if you purchase vinyl online, you can keep track of your vinyls that way. Or if you don't sew, but you craft in other means, what kind of paints you have, what kind of glues you have, paint brushes, you know, resin supplies, if you do anything like that. I think this is a good way to keep track of all your stuff and have it with you at all times on your phone when you go shopping. So sometimes when you find those things that you find a good deal, oh, you can go to Joann's and Thread's on sale, buy three spools and get two free, and you're like, heck yeah, I need to stock up. And now you can, because you know what you have and you're not gonna get duplicates, unless you want duplicates, and then it's up to you. So I hope you enjoy this, and I'm sorry, I'm not an Apple user. I don't know if you can use Google on an Apple phone. I'm not sure. If you can, throw it down in the comments below. Let me know how an Apple user or an iPhone user would be able to do the same thing on their phone. So, but this is just me using my Android phone with my Google account. 
Remember to subscribe and to share this video. Remember to always give me a thumbs up if you appreciate it. If you are not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time a new video comes up. Remember, everything that I use in my videos, well, except for this video, but normally all my sewing supplies that I use are linked below if you want to purchase anything yourself. And I appreciate it. I hope you guys have a good week and I will see you thinking about vlogging again. Maybe Friday? Maybe it'll just be next Tuesday. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Whenever the next video comes out, it'll come out. If not, no later than next Tuesday, if nothing else. If I don't see you before then, I'll see you then. So I'll see you later, and remember, the sewing room will eventually be cleaned.